Hi everyone, this is Terry. This is the start of a series covering shapes. If you look at your menu bar, you see the shapes icon on the screen. And when you select this, you can draw various shapes, including some that are digitizing shapes, such as outline shapes and rectangular or circular shapes manual punch shapes, and then some shapes that are built into the software. You can also get to shapes by going into import and choose outline shapes, and you'll have a library of different shapes that you can choose from that you can draw that shape on the screen. For instance, if I wanted to draw this flower, I can just drag it over here on the screen wherever I want it and I can resize that flower. So for the person who's wanting to create a quick design, using these built-in shapes is a very fast way to create an embroidery file. If you notice that the, the scissor and the musical note, that was found under hobbies. So this is something for you to play with. In fact, there's a great little exercise or tutorial in the manual that covers using the Shapes tool, and I recommend that you go through that. I'm going to clear my screen by pressing Control n and I will not say the changes, so I'll say no. And now I have a blank design page. I'll go back to Shapes. And this time, I'll choose a shape. Let's choose a heart. And you notice that the heart is now attached to my cursor. If I just drag this heart and don't hold down the shift key, I can change the shape by moving my cursor either up or down or to the right or left. I'll just let go. And once I let go, the software remembers the last stitch attributes that I had selected. Let me change this to a fill stitch and let's make the center of this red. And now you can see I quickly digitized a heart. Now if I want to go back in and digitize another one, there's a couple of different ways to do this. What I did is I added shapes to my ribbon. And in order to do that, if I right click, I can choose to add it to my ribbon. Otherwise, what I have to do is go to home and choose shapes again. But if I have it on my ribbon, I can quickly pick out a shape that I want to use. Let's choose the star. And this time, let's hold down the shift key. And now it creates a perfectly proportioned star. So that's a very quick way to create a shape in the software and to, to digitize it. One of the things that you can do once you have a shape, unlike a, a stitch file, a shape is an object. So if you want to resize this, all you have to do is grab the corner and make it larger or you can grab from, from the side if you don't want it to be proportional. And if you don't like it, all you have to do is to choose undo and it will revert back to the previous shape that you had. You can go in and as I showed you a moment ago, you can convert the, this shape uh, and create offset lines. And to do that, we'll make these outward and we'll leave the spacing as it is and we won't have rounded corners and let's just preview it to see what it's going to look like. So now I've created outlines around that shape which would be very nice if this was the 4th of July. I could quickly make a, a flag with stars and it would look nice. The other thing that you can do with shapes so th that really make them unique is to change all of the stitch types and to do that, we'll choose a heart. And you can select from many of those stitch types. This is a great place to use your decorative fills. 
and we'll do that. For those of you who have a Dream Machine or you have a Luminaire, this is what you're doing whenever you go into the Design Center and you use one of those shapes and you choose the decorative fill. Now you can go into the sewing attributes and you can select which of the decorative fills you want to choose. And again, you can create your own decorative fills if you want. Let's just choose this pattern and choose OK. With the shape, you can also uh, create floral patterns. And you can see, uh, for instance, I can make something that looks very unique with the shape. And now this design looks completely different than what I started with. We'll talk a, a little bit more about shapes in the next video. I hope this little introduction to shapes is helpful to you. Please like and subscribe to my videos, and if you have questions, let me know what you want me to cover. Thank you.